guys, welcome to my video. Um, just going to do a quick video. I say quick. I want it to be quick, but um, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, nice sunny day, so I thought I'd just come outside and uh, do a quick video for you with the basic tools that I run for uh, doing basic bike maintenance. cleaned all these and I've just put them in this toolbox so I thought it'd be a good idea to go through it all and kind of show you the, the basic tools that you can build up to or if you want to set make yourself your own toolbox with bike specific tools in and there's loads of videos out there about what tools to get and which ones you can you can buy and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you the ones that I have and the ones that I find that I use the most and uh, find good having in a toolbox that I can just either take with me to the races or keep in the car when I'm when I'm going somewhere or you know, it's not that heavy, I just carry it in this. First things first is I've got a multi tool, these are well, the multi Allen keys, these start at 8mm all the way down to like 0.5 or something. Don't always use them all, you don't always need them all, but I treat these as kind of as small Allen keys, they also have long ones as well. So I've got the small ones there. Uh, the long ones start and like this, so you can get them obviously with the ball on the end as well. That's an 8mm, and then same again, see the little ball on the end there, 6 and they, they just replicate what I've got on the on the other one there. Uh, that's one of the longer ones, that's me 5mm. So you can see it's a T shaped one. Next is screwdrivers, I carry four of them. These part ones are really light because of the flat heads, the blue handles. The Phillips head of black, so they're easy to see. In addition to that, I carry a little one, a little tiny thing like this, which is for like digging stuff out, or you can whack the top of it, I don't know, use it for all sorts of things. Pliers, regular set of pliers, and needle nose pliers. These are Draper ones, really cheap. As long as they work, then it doesn't really matter, does it? Wire cutters, these are super important. These are again only cheap per, per little small set, but these are really sharp. And they have like a really good spring action to them, so they're dead easy to use. A knife, just a, any Stanley knife will do with a sharp blade, and it make sure you get Stanley blades as well. If you just get any old um, blades, they'll, they, they just they blunt really quick. And that's good for just general use. Uh, spanners, I try and carry a full set of spanners because for, for whatever reason I've tried to narrow them down in the past and there's, there's certain sizes that you just don't need but then one day you'll find you do need it and uh, yeah just find if you just buy a full set of spanners from like a, a six mil or something up to maybe 20 22 and just keep them in in your um in your toolbox 22 you very rarely need but the main one is that i use is 10 i always carry two 10 mils because uh use them quite a lot and i have next thing is the tire levers Loads of these, these just bend and you're just pushing in uh, pistons on your brakes and for taking tyres off, but they're, they're super cheap and um, they're good to have. These metal ones I've had for ages, ages and ages, and these last a long time as well. If you can get a good set of metal ones, then look after them and don't lose them. But you tend to lose these, so I just keep the plastic ones. I used to have three of them, but there's only two. Um, probably one of my most recent tools, I've used to just use a um, tape measure or a metal ruler. This is a chain checker, I literally got this last week after um, Jared Gray's put a post up on Instagram and I was like oh, I need to get one of them, it's like three quid. You can basically just check whether your, your chain's worn or when it is it ready for needing change. You know, nine times out of ten you can tell when it needs changed anyway but you want to change it before you start wearing out your cassette and your chain ring. Um, so I've got one of them. This is a, it's a little extension for a um, quarter inch. Now this goes with, I actually found this years ago on a, on a playing field, it's um, a blue point one, so it's really good quality. You can strip the end down and clean it all out, so they're probably quite expensive for what they are, but I use that quite a lot in conjunction with this little quarter inch mini socket set. This is probably the best tool I've got, it's in this little Tupperware thing because the original box broke. In here you've got, um, I think it's 
11 mil to 8 mil uh, sockets. And then you've got all the, the main other attachments that you need. Obviously, I always carry the black cable ties. Uh, these are 295, 295 millimeter, 200 pack from B&Q. They're the ones that I normally buy. The hammer, I always carry this type of hammer. I think it's called a dead wall hammer or nylon hammer. Not the ones that are like, not a claw hammer. These are just better for, for everything really, and whacking stuff. And they're relatively cheap as well. I've got a large adjustable. This is probably a bit big. You could do with a small one, like a, a 10 inch one, as opposed to, I think this is a 12. Um, but the reason I have this is to anything that I can't use the spanners for. Uh, the main one that I use this for is for a cassette tool. So if you want to get a cassette off, I just use this. So that's the next, another one, cassette tool. So to use a cassette tool, you need a chain whip, which is this. These, again, these are super cheap. Um, means you can get your cassette off and more than anything clean behind it and maintain it, give it a good degreasing. Uh, other than that, you don't need to take it off unless you're actually changing it. I've got a bottom bracket tool, it's the Shimano one, so it's quite uh, thin. I also have the Chris King adapter, which again works on other bottom brackets, mainly the Chris King one. And this just goes straight onto a um, uh, three eighths, the just uh, three eighths socket, and that goes straight onto the bottom bracket. So I carry that as well. Final big major, well bigger thing is a torch. It's a small torch. Mag lights are amazing. This is a cheap one, cheap version of it, but it works fine. So the rest of the stuff really is just smaller tools. So this is a um, chain breaker, and good quality one. You can get them a lot better than this, but bigger as well. But this is next tools one that works really well. I've got this little Tupperware box here, it's got those little small bits in it. I also carry the uh, chain ring bolts, spare ones there. And I also have a, a little tool that can get inside those as well, so you get on the back side of them. And the other smaller pieces is uh, a spoke key, just to tree your wheels and tighten your spokes up. Uh, other little bits like spur. Uh, valve caps and uh, bleed blocks. I always have a lot of these because again I, I tend to lose them even though they're bright yellow. So I have them. I don't even think I've got a disc for that one anymore. And yeah, different sizes. I keep them in in a uh, in little packets as well to try and keep them clean just so they don't get contaminated. Uh, spur cleats. I always carry them in the box and some proper Stanley knife blades as well. And that's it really. The only other thing that I, I, I would carry in this toolbox is maybe spare parts, like some uh, uh, drill hangers. I also have my, my clip pedals in here because I swap between my clips and my flats quite a lot, depending on what bike I'm riding. And I've also got a, a chain ring in here, which this is just one that I'm going to be changing over um, in the next couple of weeks, like a, a to-do job. So I just chuck in the so I miss so I know that. Uh, know to do it. So that's, that's what I carry in this toolbox anyway. I uh, hope it helps. I know there's, there's plenty of videos you can watch on what tools to carry and what you need. I started off really small and just built it up and every month when I got paid I just bought something else. Um, and it made. I just wanted to make sure I had a, a bike specific toolbox because it's really easy to to not have a bike specific one. These tools don't get dirty. You know, the, the, the work we're doing on bikes, basic bike mechanics, it's not it's not that dirty of a job, it's not like a, an engineer or a car mechanic, so you can really look after them. And especially like the likes of these part tool screwdrivers, that if you was working in a really nasty environment, these would get dirty pretty quick. So buy decent tools, look after them, and just build it up. Just buy something each month or whenever you've got a bit of cash. So yeah, hope you like it. If you want to see anything else, let me know. I just laid it all nice there. I'm just going to take some shots of it and then throw it back in the toolbox.